Hey guys, Eric Franklin here from CNET.com. I'm in the CNET Labs. We have the iPad 2 and the Zoom here. We'll be doing some site speed loading tests. First up, CBSNews.com, then CNET.com, and finally, GiantBomb.com. So um, let's just get started. First up, CBSNews.com. And the zoom is firing away and going pretty fast. Already has multiple up, oh, and the zoom is done. iPad 2 is trailing behind, it's, and it's done now. Not too far behind the zoom. Now, CNET.com. And they're off, and the zoom, oh, the iPad is ahead, the zoom is catching up. Now, oh, the zoom is done, and the iPad's now done. Now, GiantBomb.com. And they're off, and the they're about the same, and it's uh, they're so that was they're they hit that at the same time. They're both so fast that it's hard to comment on those. But um, as you can see, they both were about the same speed there. Well, that was pretty interesting. A couple weeks ago, we tested the Zoom versus the original iPad, and the Zoom came out on top. This time, it was the iPad 2 versus the Zoom, and they're more or less on par. We'll have more testing results over the next few weeks, so keep an eye out on Crave for more coverage. Hey folks, Brian Cooley from CNET.com. Now when we check the performance of a piece of tech, we check the performance of a piece of tech. If you love videos of cars and all their high tech and high performance glory, check out the CNET CarTech video podcast, CNET.com slash CarTech TV.